Welcome back to another episode of the Smallville Farmer. Today we've got a kind of interesting episode. This idea was given to me by you guys. A subscriber commented and said, why don't you do a video on all the tractors you have? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with the smallest tractor that we have on the farm and we'll go all the way up to the largest. So sit back and enjoy all the tractors that we have here on the Smallville Farmer. We're going to start off the episode here with the 1320 Ford, which is the smallest tractor we have. Let's get some action shots. If I get this thing to start, I'll keep spreading poop. Coming in at 20 start, horsepower, this was manufactured from 1987 until 1995 in Japan with the original price tag of $12,200. Next up on the second smallest tractor we have is a John Deere 2010. We actually have two of these models. They were manufactured from 1960 to 1965 right here in the good old US of A with an original price tag of $4,600. The horsepower on this tractor is right at 46.86 horsepower. Third smallest tractor on our list is the International 606 tractor. Originally built from 1962 to 1967 with an original price tag of $4,900. This is coming in at 54.31 horsepower. Blaine will have, hop on the old uh, six, this is a 656 hydrostat tractor. We have another International Harvester. This one is the 656. This was originally built from 1965 to 1973 with an original price tag of $7,400. This is coming in at 63.8 horsepower. And this particular tractor on our, on our farm is hydrostatic, which means there's no shifting gears. It's all just forward or reverse. Now we're coming along to the 4440 series. This was manufactured by John Deere right here in the good old US of A with an original price tag of $38,397. They manufactured the 1440 starting in 1978 and ended that in 1982. This has approximately 130.58 horsepower. Now it's the 4630. This was manufactured again right here in the good old US of A from 1973 to 1977 with an original price tag of $27,080. This has a horsepower of 150.66.
Make sure you guys leave a comment below on what is your favorite tractor that we have here on the farm or if, if there's a certain tractor you absolutely hate or if there's one that you love running on your farm, please comment below and let me know. The last John Deere tractor on our list is the 4640. This was manufactured from 1978 until 1982 with a price tag of $46,316. This tractor is coming in at 156.3 horsepower. Our fifth biggest tractor and my personal favorite is the International Harvester 1586. This was produced from 1976 until 1981 with an original price tag of $43,300. The horsepower on this tractor is coming in at 161.55. Fourth biggest tractor on the farm is the International Harvester 5488. This was produced from 1981 until 1985 right here in the good old US of A. Original price tag on this tractor was $66,615. Horsepower for this tractor coming in right at 187.22. That's probably about all the fun I'm going to have in that tractor till I get her into the shop. And in third place for the third largest tractor, we have the New Holland 8770. Original price tag in this was $90,500. This was produced from 1993 until 2000, and it has right at 190 horsepower. Oh, I forgot to tell them the way we got it. Well, that was fun. I got to drive my new used piece of junk tractor. No. Well, isn't this a sight for sore eyes? You got one New Holland piece of junk pulling another New Holland piece of junk. Second place goes to our versatile 835 tractor. This was produced from 1978 until 1984. Original price tag for this was $94,000. Horsepower coming in right at 230. Well, we're preparations on the chisel and on Well, we'll let Grandpa keep playing chisel, man. Last but no means the least, this is our biggest tractor we have on the farm. It's a 9480 Versatile New Holland tractor. This original price tag was right at $110,000. This tractor was produced from 1994 until 1995. Horsepower is right at 300. Well, thanks for tuning in today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's short episode of The Smallville Farmer. We started at the very bottom with the smallest tractor we have, and we worked all the way up to the largest tractor we have. 
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe.